They quit filming. We were going to film in 1959. By that time, I couldn't get a job in the United States. I had, uh, I went off to Germany, and I was doing a film in Germany at Bavaria Filmkunst in Munich, and they exercised my option for another 26 shows. And I was supposed to come back, and they were in preparation for 26 shows. I had friends in England. I went on to England for a little bit, but I got uh, a lot of telegrams and things in uh, Italy. My next address was uh, the American Express Piazza Espana, and I got all this stuff that George had died. And, uh, and then uh, I thought, well, I, we're not going to film anymore. And I went on to England, and then it turned out they wanted to talk to me and wanted me to come back to the United States. And uh, so I did come back to the United States. And uh, there was some talk about filming 13 Superman pals, Jimmy Olsen, because we had a sponsor at the time, uh, Kellogg's, who had given the money to do 26 shows. And there was talk about, and I met with the story editor, and they felt they could do that, not with 26, but with 13. And it was not agreeable with me to, uh, to go on and do that. And there was some question whether I was contractually obligated. But Whit Ellsworth was producing also didn't want to do it. It was the idea of Mort Weisinger, who was the story editor in New York. And so uh, that was the end of the Superman show. And Warner's was occasionally uh, very nice to me. And I did an independent film for Warner Brothers, Johnny Trouble, with uh, Ethel Barrymore, which I had a very good part and uh, got wonderful billing with Miss Barrymore. And, uh, and then at a certain point, I just decided, uh, I knew George had been very depressed, fighting it all. And it was my belief that George had committed suicide. I know that there's, uh, it's everybody else's belief that he was murdered, but it was my belief that he had committed suicide. And, um, though he was going to shoot 26 more shows. I wasn't here. I don't know. I shouldn't even be talking about that. But it's turned out to be one of the major news story, unsolved mysteries of, of all time. Uh, and I just thought, I'm going to quit acting because this is... Uh, I'd gotten a part in a film at Fox, and then the producer, Mervyn Leroy, uh, who was busy with racehorses when I was cast in the film at Fox. He came back to meet the cast, and he was very surprised that I had been cast in his film, and he said he couldn't have me in the film. Jimmy Olsen. And everybody was this Jimmy Olsen in this film at Fox. He couldn't have me in the film, and, and uh, uh, was very upset with the casting man who had brought me in for it. And I thought, this is too frustrating, and I'm just going to stop that. And I did. And I'd already been writing in New York. I'd fallen into the group of, of off-Broadway play, off-off-Broadway playwrights. It was before off-off-Broadway. Uh, and so I was writing, and I started working with composers. And I had a life going for me as a writer. And uh, so I was really doing that. And I quit acting. Didn't have an agent. I didn't want to hear about it anymore. I really felt humiliated by Mervyn Leroy. Uh, this experience was just bad for, in my mind, and I thought I didn't want to put myself through that. So I was I was writing and, and doing, and I had plays being done on Bleecker Street and things in New York. I wasn't earning a lot of money. The plays in verse, and then a great friend of mine who also quit acting, John Carr. We'd been in New York and live television. He'd done Tea and Sympathy on Broadway. And Jack was going to direct a, an anti-production of Androcles and the Lion. And I was his dream Androcles. And so I said no. I was working at that time for Jerome Robbins. I was writing a, a play, in, a no play for Jerome Robbins. And Jack was determined I was to do this. And he's a real good friend, still a real good friend. 
And in spite of us doing Androcles together, which worked out okay, but he just wouldn't take no for an answer. He said, are you just going to quit acting with ever, without ever having stretched yourself, without ever having tried to do Shaw or Shakespeare or things? Are you just going to give it up because you're typed as Jimmy Olsen? And I said, yeah, that's the idea. And he said, no, you're not. You're going to do Anacles for me. It was a very distinguished production, and I did it, and we had a success with it.